In this video, I will be showing you guys how to use your phone and KineMaster app to create an animated subscribe button for a YouTube channel, which is going to look like this. So if you want to learn this, keep watching. Hello my friends, welcome back to a brand new tutorial here on my YouTube channel where I share with you guys lots of tutorials and tips on how to edit your videos and photos and lots of tips which are going to help you to grow your YouTube channel. So this video is going to be the first episode of a playlist that I've planned that I'm going to start creating starting today on how to edit your videos using your phone. So forget about Adobe Premiere, forget about all of those apps on your phone. So we're going to start things up with teaching you how to use the KineMaster app on your phone and create an awesome looking professional animated subscribe button, which is going to help you to convert those viewers into subscribers. So I think we shouldn't be wasting time. Just before we get started, make sure that you're following me on my Instagram account. And if this is your first time watching my videos here on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button today so you're not going to be missing the upcoming videos that I'm going to be posting under this playlist. All right, so to make things really simple for you, I've included a green screen background uh, image file that you can just download below in the description, which includes all of the elements that you're going to be needing for creating this animated subscribe button. So if you are following along, just go ahead and download that uh, PNG file. So it's just one single file and we're gonna be using the elements within that to create our animator. So once you have that ready on your phone, just open your KineMaster app. I'm just gonna head over here. And uh, since we are posting for YouTube, I'm just gonna go with the aspect ratio of, of 69. If you're posting for Instagram stories, do the 916 and just keep going. So for YouTube videos, we are posting either in full HD or 4K. So 16 to nine is the aspect ratio. So I just click on it. All right. So once I have the project project created, I'm going to be uh, just uh, clicking on media. I want to create a green screen background. So when I create this for my future projects, I just use this and just chrome key the background and I just have my animated subscribe button and I won't have to do it over and over again. So we create this and we are gonna be using this on all of our upcoming videos using KineMaster and we'll be posting them on YouTube. So first I'm just gonna create that solid green screen background or we can just switch it to black and then change it to green at the end. So I click on media, I go to photos, I go to images and I just click on the first solid color, the back, black one. I hit on the check mark on the top right. And I want the duration to be around nine seconds. So I just drag the end like this and I go to, let's say up to nine. Okay, nine seconds is enough, more than enough to be honest. You can have your own. So I'm just gonna leave it black for now, but then at the end before exporting it, I'm just gonna hit on this, go to color and just change it to green. Okay, if I click on the check. Okay, this is what you're gonna do at the end. But now to keep things simple, I'm just gonna change it to another color. Let's say gray. Okay. All right, now we are gonna be using that image that you just downloaded and is included below in the description. I click on layers, I go to media, I go to photo, I find it. All right, there we go. Uh, okay, to start with, I'm just gonna choose that white background uh, on top. I go to cropping. I just crop that part. Make sure you don't have any other elements. I click on check mark. Okay, now I'm gonna click on it again. I'm gonna go to chroma key and I just enable it and by default it selects the green. If not, just click on key color and just switch it to green and you'll be all set. All right, let's make some adjustments on the size. I'm just gonna have it this big, put it at the bottom, let's say. All right, this is good. Now I'm just gonna drag the end over here and just have it to cover all of my uh, project here. Okay. Now I'm just gonna can you click on OK on the top right. Now it's time for my uh, profile picture. So I just uh, layers, media, image. I'm just gonna import the same because I already have it here. You see, uh, I just click on crop. I just have this profile picture of mine. Uh, let's just select it. Okay, I click on mask and I go to shape, square, check. And I hit okay again. 
okay i have it right here if you want to make adjustments just go to cropping and just make minor adjustments if you want to okay this looks fine to me okay i click on it i make it smaller and then i just move it to where i want it to be over i would say over here let's make it smaller okay here's better i put it here click on okay now i just drag it and just take it all the way to the end of my animation which is here okay all right now it's time for importing our subscribe button so i just click on media layer media i go to image i just import the image that i included for you guys i select the i go to cropping i just take this red subscribe which is before you subscribe i hit okay i go to uh i click on the element i go to chroma key enable it perfect i just click on it and i just move it over here let's say and then i go to where it ends let's say after four seconds in here i'm not going to change that i just put it like half a second before the red one ends and then i go to layers media photo i go all the way down i added this here now i do the same but i select the gray one i select it perfect uh okay click on it again go to chroma key enable it okay now what i'm gonna do uh let's just click on this and i'm just gonna move it to where this is so let's see how it changes if i click on okay okay i have to make it smaller so i just make it a little bit smaller and i move it to where the red one is okay a little bit higher okay let me click on okay okay perfect uh now it's time for the bell so the bell is going to show up once it turns to gray so here okay i go to layers i go to media photo again subscribe the green screen one i want the bell over there so i go to cropping i take the bell okay i click on the okay i click on my element which is here and then i go to chroma key enable it perfect if you notice that it's kind of transparent you just make some adjustments over this it's not a big deal you can uh, like this i would say okay that's good i click on okay uh, i just move it over this okay here's fine i click on okay and when i click on the bell i want those effects on top of the bell which is like ring effect uh show up so i go a little bit further let's say around here i go to layers again media photo i just go to the same and this time i click on cropping and i choose this over here i click on ok i click on my layer uh chroma key enable it done let's move it uh above the bell which is around here you can also make it a little bit smaller if you want to to fit the bell i just put it on top yeah this is perfect i hit on ok uh, actually i'm gonna move the bell a little bit higher so i click on the bell i move it around here and then i click on that thing that i added on top i move it a little bit higher too hmm. sometimes it's kind of when the screen is small it's kind of hard okay i click on okay i'm just gonna end it where my uh, actual animation is going to end i make sure everything is aligned okay everything is perfect so if i play it right now so the pointer we are going to add shows up clicks on subscribe the bell shows up click on the bell and this shows up okay now i'm going to add the uh, text first so i go all the way to the beginning i go to layers text I'm gonna add my channel's name. I'm just gonna do my Nemo. Uh, I do the Nemo with uh, lowercase Nemo TV. Nemo. Oh, come on. TV. I click on OK. Where are you? Here. Okay, I wanna change it to black. I wanna make it smaller and put it here. Yeah, here is fine. 
Uh, actually, it's too big. Let's make it smaller. Okay, this is better. I put it here and I just make sure it covers the whole thing. Okay, now I'm gonna add the description of my channel. I click OK. I go to layer, text, let's say uh, video editing tutorials and vlogs, let's say, vlogs. I hit OK. If you wanna change the font, go ahead and do it. I'm not gonna do it. I click on OK, I make it smaller like this i put it below this and let's put it here oh come on okay actually i think we should no it looks fine let me just take drag it from the end and just put it where the animation ends okay let's play for a second hit okay so we have this and then we click on subscribe bell shows up click on bell okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh okay i'm gonna add the uh pointer so the pointer i go to layers media again photo uh i just go to the screen the thing that i added okay i go to crop i select my pointer and then i hit okay i activate the layer where is it okay i activate the layer and i actually want to have this all the way to the end so okay i do this and i go to chroma key enable it boom we have it let's make it smaller okay this is good so to animate the pointer that we have over here we just uh, click on this keyframe icon on the left side and once it's activated we just take it out okay we just let the animation to be played uh, like for like one third of a second i click on this plus button i create a keyframe and then once i do that i let it be played for like two seconds i move it up i put it on top of my uh, subscribe button actually actually let's move it more like around here i bring it oh come on uh it's out i bring it uh, i click on the pointer where is it here i go to the keyframe again i bring it to here i put it on top of the subscribe button i create a keyframe i let it be after it turns to gray and after that i create another keyframe and then i move it to the bell over here i hold it there until that shows up i create a keyframe and then once it's done, I move it out and create another keyframe. And I click on the check mark. So let's see how it, how it goes right now. I play it, it comes up, goes on top of the subscriber thing, hold, holds there, clicks, goes to the notification, clicks and goes up. Okay, now we are going to add the uh, sound effects. So since I have the subscription on this, I have access to their sound effects. If you don't have access to that, use the record option. Just play it uh, on YouTube or somewhere which is copyright free and just record the click or the like the whip sound effect. OK, but I'm just going to use the KineMaster sound effects. So when uh, when the subscribe happens, I want a click sound. So over here, I go to audio, I go to SFX. And if you want to use like the marketplace, I already have them saved here. You click on this storefront. Uh, you are going to be brought to here for the click you go to general You just come down until you find mouse click over here. So I click on mouse click and It's already installed. So I go back mouse click. I click on it. So let's say what you have no Okay, actually I'm gonna choose mouse tree. So I hit on this uh, plus button and it's gonna be over here, you see? So right now, if I play it. So when you subscribe, uh, you go to the bell. When I click on the bell, uh, I want like a bell sound. So again, once the bell is kind of ringing, I go to audio again. And you go, if you wanna load these sound effects, you go to the storefront 
and I think it's in uh, how, where was it? Let me check the general. It was Bell, I think. Yeah, Bell. No, this one. So it's already installed. Bell one. So I go back. Bell one. Which one? Bell one. Okay, I add it. Oh, sorry. I have to click on the plus one. Okay, if I play it right now. So the mouse shows up, click, move there, there you go. So if you want to have some sound effects when this animation is showing up, just go to audio. Mm, we, have, we can have the whoosh sound effect, which you can just find it easily over there in the marketplace. Okay, I'm just gonna add this in the beginning. So when it shows up, it's gonna show there happening go over there click out and then i'm just gonna add the same sound effect over here the same one but it's going to be yeah let me play it okay there you go uh so that's all guys uh to ex before exporting it i'm just gonna click on this gray background and change it to green there you go and uh, to, to just take care of everything, make sure the transparency is fine when you're doing the chroma key. So I feel like my white background is kind of uh, transparent. It's gonna look good, but to fix it, you just click on your uh, white background, which is I think this one. You go to chroma key and you just adjust it. Okay, all set. And now I'm just gonna export it. So I just click on this on the top right. I want it in full HD. 30 frames per second that's fine I'm just gonna go for high quality export let's wait until it's export because I'm gonna show you how to apply this to your video all right so I'm just gonna record a video I'm just gonna exit this so it's gonna be right here uh, let's actually record a video together let's clean my lens hey guys uh, if this is your first time watching my videos make sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you're not gonna be missing my future videos. Thank you. Okay, now that I have this video, I just added as a clip. And now, let's say I wanna add that projects. I go to layers, I go to media, I go to videos. Where is it? Kind uh, master, okay. Kind master here. I just go, after importing it, I just go to chroma key which is right here, I enable it, and there you go, I just adjust it, and then I'm just going to move it a little bit. I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, and then I'm just going to play it for you. Hey guys, uh, if this is your first time watching my videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you're not gonna be missing my future videos. Thank you. There you go, guys. So this is how you're gonna be creating your animated subscribe button on your phone using KineMaster app. You can adjust the speeds you wanna pointer to move faster, just do it, just uh, the time between the key frames should be shorter. I did it longer to just show you guys. So let me know below in the comments if you had any questions or issues while doing this. Make sure to subscribe because this is gonna be a course-based tutorial added to the same playlist. So to follow along and learn more about how you can use your phone and the apps available on your phone to kind of grow your YouTube channel and do a lot with this smart device that you have uh, available for you. Make sure to subscribe so you're not gonna be missing those and be safe and by the way, happy Thanksgiving because today is Thanksgiving 2020. See you guys in the next video and mochles.